Well, since Sunday, the Prime Minister's been under the medical care of the team at St Thomas's Hospital after he was admitted with persistent coronavirus symptoms. But during the course of this afternoon, the Prime Minister's condition worsened and on the advice of the medical team, he was moved in to a critical care unit. So in light of those circumstances, the Prime Minister asked me as First Secretary to deputise for him where necessary in driving forward the government's plans to defeat coronavirus. And um, as you'll know, uh, we, he's been receiving excellent care at St Thomas's Hospital and we'd like to take this opportunity as a government uh, to thank uh, NHS staff up and down the country for all of their dedication, hard work and commitment in treating everyone who's been affected by this awful virus. With the Prime Minister now in intensive care, this is obviously an extremely serious situation. I mean, how, how worried should people be about his health and about who's in charge of the government? Well, the government's business will continue um, and the Prime Minister is in safe hands with a brilliant team uh, at St Thomas's Hospital and the focus of the government will continue to be on making sure at the Prime Minister's direction all the plans for making sure that we can defeat coronavirus and pull the country through this challenge will be taken forward. Are you confident though that the government is in, under control tonight? There's a, an incredibly strong team spirit behind the Prime Minister and making sure that we get all of the plans that the Prime Minister has instructed us to deliver to get them implemented as soon as possible. And that's the way we'll bring the whole country uh, through the coronavirus challenge that we face right now.